Welcome to this Windows Channel Tips and Tricks. Do you want to share files between more than one PC on your home network? And you've been wondering how to do this easily? But you also don't want to have your PC compromised by maybe sharing a folder, for example, the Documents folder, because it will become a folder that everybody will have access when they're on your network. Well, you can use the sharing folders that are available in Windows 10 and this will work with every version of Windows by the way. Now the user uh, folders are interesting because you share only what's in the, those public folders, that's what's called public folders, and you don't share anything else on your PC. So what you want to do is on both computers that you want to share files with right click on your network connection if it's a Wi-Fi you'll see this icon the icon here if it's a plugged in connection you'll see a little screen like icon right click on it and click open network and sharing center you don't see that you can also go in the Cortana search and just uh, type network and it should give you network and sharing center in the control panel now what you want to do is go on the left side and go into change advanced sharing settings of course, you'll have to turn on, in this list, turn on network discovery. And then you will have to turn on file and printer sharing. Then just go at the bottom. You see all networks. Uh, click here. You will see other options. And one is turn on sharing so anyone with network access can read and write files in the public folders. So this is only public folder sharing, nothing else. And when all of that is set up, well, all you have to do is click Save Changes. And it will, of course, work on both machines. After you do the change on both machines, make sure that you restart both computers. So how do you access these public folders? They are available in your PC when you go to the File Explorer and to the C drive you have users click there and you'll see that something's called public in public you will have the different public folders these are the folders that are shared when you actually work with the public folders so simply put what you want in one of the folders so if it's pictures you can put it in the public pictures folder and the person that's trying to access is going to find it. So for example, I've got a video I want to import from my Insider machine. How do I do this? Well, if I go to my File Explorer, on the left side, I go to Network. Here, Insider machine is there. Jill main PC is my computer that I'm using right now making the video. Insider machine, it will give you access to the folders. Now, sometimes it might take a little while like you know up to 30 seconds 45 seconds on the first access to one of these folders it's something that happens regularly it's totally normal if you have a username and a password to enter that's possible if you do have that that means that you will have to um, make sure that everything is all right now let's check it out here why it's telling me that my two machines. Uh, I do think it's because my machines were, my other machine was sleeping. So let's try it again and see if uh, I can get access. Here we go, users. That's my other machine was in sleep mode. One thing that you can do also, if you don't see, because sometimes it can happen, you don't see the other machine here, you can right click and click the refresh button. So insider machines, here you'll see users my public folders are there so I've got a video here I just click here and here it is so I can actually drag it or in my case I will just copy it and I want to put it on my desktop paste and by the way while you're doing that one of the things that you can do is also take the public folders that you have so for example if I go back here and go to my public folders uh, what I could do with the public folders is to a shortcut by right clicking here I can actually send to desktop and create a shortcut to the 
public videos on my Insider machine. So it's as easy as that and usually it works once again like I told you you'll have to uh, restart your computer and one of the last things I didn't mind ask is a username and a password so what's the username I try to access my insider machine so you have to inside uh, just enter that username basically so if it said what's your what's the username and password I would have entered in uppercase because you did see it says uppercase insider machine in your case you'll enter the name that you see if you haven't set your own names you will see some weird things like uh, you know desktop uh, p466jkly0 you know something re weird like that you'll have to enter all of that information as the username the password if you're using a Microsoft account you enter your Microsoft account password to that machine if you are using an a uh, pin number you will have to enter the pin number so that's one of the things that's a little um, I'd say um, annoying because you gotta know which one you have to enter but uh, that's how it works so hope you enjoyed this little demonstration of sharing files between computers and uh, the best way to do it is really by using the public folders which means that you know your main folders are not affected by this sharing uh, if you don't want to have people viewing everything that you have on your PC, they'll be able to view only what's in the public folders. You enjoy my videos? Please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let us know. And hopefully you enjoy our videos and we'll continue watching our channel.